Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119. I have another Kenwood TL922A in for repair. I'll show you what it needs really quick. And I'm gonna get to work. So the capacitors, the plate, and the load, they look okay. Here's a new set of tubes. Everything else looks okay in here on the top. So I'll do all the modifications I normally do. Put the glitch resistor in, strap over here. I'll do everything I normally do. I'm going to flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. Okay, be right back. Okay, so he's the grid's grounded. See one of the tubes that flashed. See the choke is all congealed. So those come out anyway. I'll ground the grids. Already checked the winding on the filament transformer over here. The power is the relays. It's okay. So no issues with the filament transformer. He wants the 10 meter modification done, which I'll do. Needs a new band switch. The contact over here is toasted. I'll show it when it's pulled out. I'll do all the other mods I usually do. Needs a new Zener diode also for the bias. I'll change that cap. So basically everything I, I usually do. So I'm going to go through it. And when it's all finished, I'll go over every little thing I did, including the bias, including the bias mod and all that other stuff. So. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon. Okay, so I'm back with the completed TL922A, now has 10 meters. So I went in here and did all the modifications I normally do that you see in my other videos. The diode to protect the plate current meter, which clamps the B negative to ground if there's a short on the B positive. Got the series glitch resistor over here. Added the strap over here. The air variable capacitors for the output network look good. I zip tied the wiring. Here's the old band switch. You can see the damage contact over here. If you look closely. So also replaced the Zener diode for the biasing. So I'll show that underneath. So I'm gonna flip it over and show you the bottom. Be right back. Okay, so here's the bottom. Grab my screwdriver. So grounded the grids really well. Did the bias modification, check the SO239 connectors, they're good. Added the strap over here. Brand new band switch assembly. So, what else? The Zener, new cap over here. Clean the contacts, TR relay, clean the contacts and in the input rotary switch, and also clean the contacts on the new output rotary slash band switch. Changed the cap values and reconfigured the coils for 10 meters. Took out the detent stop screw in the front. And uh, this thing is all set, ready to go. Also clean the contacts on that relay also. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 203-892-4119. And the website is ampreparegu.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. 73.